Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got another video. It's going to be a simple video. It's not going to be very long. But I don't have any I don't have any door switches. Uh, so when I open my door, no lights come on. This is the plug that's supposed to have the switch connected to it. The plug comes in apparent, you know, of course from the back side. But anyway, I've got a solution for that. I saw on another YouTube channel. And the solution is this switch right here and there's something special about this switch and I will show you what that is. So this is what you get when you order this switch. I will leave a link in the description of where you can get this switch. So of course when you shut the door the switch compresses, the lights go off. When you open the door, the lights come on. When you take the door off, the lights come on. What's unique about this switch, the, the factory switches, they make these little spring contraptions that goes on the switch right here and it grips the threads and it'll keep it compressed. You don't have to do that with this switch. You simply pull it out and the lights go off. You can run with your doors off and not have to worry about running down your battery because the uh, dome lights are on. So anyway, and then when you put the door back on and shut it, the switch goes back to normal operation and it will go to normal operation until you pull it out again. So if you're out here and you're working on your radio or you're, you're messing with something with the doors open and it's ding, 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 dinging all the time, streets down here, pull the button out. That's the theory anyway. So let's put this, let's install this and let's see if that does work that way. So I've got my harness right here and I'm not gonna use a factory plug anymore. I'm just gonna snip it off and I'm gonna wire these right here into the factory wires and slide these on top of the connectors like that right there and that way I will have a good connection if I need to take them off well if I need to take them off I just pull them off like that so let me cut these wires and get these wired in left just a little room in case I did want to one day possibly reuse it I'll probably just end up throwing it away It don't matter uh, which plugs go to what side on this side right here because all you're doing is uh, completing a circuit when that switch is uh, released. So you wire these two light, these two wires together and your dome lights come on. That switch is just a breaking point for them. All right, so there's the switch, you mash it, light goes out, open the door, light comes on. See if I can get this. You have the doors off and you want your lights off, you pull it, lights go off, lights stay off. So the, the switch don't come with the, uh, the threaded nut 
that goes over these uh, threads right here. And if you have the factory switch, it should come with something that looks similar to this. I had a friend at work to uh, 3D print this. Uh, I will try to leave the file down in the link below uh, in the description so that if you have somebody or if you're, you yourself have a 3D printer, you can print one of these yourself if you don't have the threads that come, come off of the factory one there. So I'm going to uh, put this through the hole now. I'm going to thread this on and we're going to see how well she works. Okay, that is in. Let's make sure everything is still plugged up. I'm going to press the button right here. I'm just going to press this in to, to release it. All right, that works. I'm going to pull the button out. All right, that works. I'm going to shut the door and open it back up. It should reset the switch. And it does. So, and now I'm going to put you in the floor, looking up at the light, and I'm going to shut the door. Light should go off. And one more time, I want to take the doors off. I pull this switch out, and they go off. It stays out until you press it in. And you have to be careful when you press it in, because if you, if you press it in, and snap it like that it come it cuts the light right back off so you have to do that so anyway got dirt on my dash i gotta clean this nasty thing up oh uh, this side had two wires the other side i know for a fact has three wires you'll have to wire two wires together and the third wire on the other side of the switch I don't remember which two wires I wired together. I did the other side uh, some time ago. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here to the other side, take the switch out, and see which two wires I wired together to try to make y'all's lives a little bit easier if you want to do this mod. Okay, I got the switch out. My wires are too short to pull them down to show on camera. Uh, if I remember right, I did those wires actually through the hole that the switch comes out of. I actually pulled the wire through the hole. I think that's where I did all my connections right there. Uh, but I know I did. I can see what color wires go where. So there's three wires. One of the wires is yellow. One of the wires is blue and black. And one of the wires is yellow and black. The yellow and black wire goes by itself. Wire the other two wires together and the switch will work. So uh, that's what yellow and black wire goes by itself. Wire the other two wires together. Your door chimes will work when you open the door. And uh, so will your dome lights, will, your interior lights will come on when you open the doors and the switch will cut those off when you operate the switch so anyway that's the color so now i'm gonna put this back together and be done with this job okay i got the switch installed got my alarm going telling me my doors are open off back on so anyway it's pretty neat i really like that well guys that's a wrap I hope you like this mod because I really, I, I love it. Uh, I had so many uses, uh, taking your doors off, working in your Jeep with your doors open. You can shut that switch off at will and it's so easy to do it. You don't have to put that little spring clip on there to compress that button. 
so anyway if you like this mod uh please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing i'm going to leave a link in the video description below to the switch i just put in uh so that you can do this mod to your jeep as well and i want to leave a link to another video where i learned how to do this i found it on youtube and uh i tried it and man it works and it works great so very useful mod has a functionality to it and that's what i like so anyway watch the other guy's video and he'll explain uh about the switch and how it works and when you go to the website that i'm going to link in the video below make sure you're getting the right switch so when you put it in your car they'll try to sell you another switch that will not work it'll look very similar but there is a subtle difference it's got to have that locking mechanism that when you pull the button out that it will stay locked out so anyway y'all come back next week and we'll see what we're doing then i'll have something uploaded and we'll be working on this jeep tj and getting him back up to where he should be he's getting closer and closer hits the road really good drives great the front end is so tight on this thing after i've replaced all the all the front end under it so anyway the only thing under the front end i hadn't replaced are the ball joints in each front uh wheel but anyway everything else is brand new and it's tight and it drives like a dream I, you know really it really does and i know it's a jeep tj and you know everybody think no it don't drive good it does drive good so anyway i'm rambling sorry about that y'all come back next week and we'll see what we got uploaded thanks again